Hello, hello everybody to BSG30. I quickly want to mention a few things before we get moving to our next run as they're still finishing up the setup as we speak. Uh, first and foremost, uh, you guys are currently watching the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners. Uh, we're currently streaming from for you guys live from Alphen and Rhein in the Netherlands. So, you know, if you happen to be in the vicinity, be sure to drop by. And we are currently raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. All of your donations will be going to the Dutch Cancer Society, so be sure to get your donations in on that. And while you do, there are still quite a few incentives that you can throw it to. Uh, the first one coming up will be the bid war for Metal Gear Solid between saving Meryl or saving... Uh, Otakon. Otakon. Uh, Meryl is currently in the lead with 31 euros and 69 cents, whereas Otakon is at 5 euros right now. So quite a quite a significant gap there. So if you want to tip the favors in, fra in uh, if, uh, tip the favors for uh, Otakon, be sure to get your money in quickly. We'll also have some incentives coming for tomorrow uh, for the Pokemon Gold Any Percent No Safe Corruption. We have the rival name, which is currently at Butts with 5 euros. The Totodile, which is currently sitting at my dude at 8 euros. And the trainer name, which you can snipe with any donation of any amount uh, because there currently isn't a name on it. There will be the add the boss percent for the Digimon Racing Incentive, which is currently sitting at 25 euros and 25 cents out of 100 needed. So it still has quite some ways to go. And the help or don't help the mustache kid for a hat in time. Uh, Either, both of those are still at uh, at nothing right now, so any donation can uh, tip the favor in front of whichever you prefer. Looks like they're getting pretty close to being done. Okay, it looks like we're going to be uh, throwing it over to Rikult with Ape Escape, Saru Saru, Big Mission. Rikult, take it away. I'm silent on purpose, okay? Okay, hey, <laughs> welcome to Ape Escape. Saru Saru Big Mission, and let's not listen to demos, let's listen to the music. I mean, who doesn't love it? Okay, let, let's just start. Uh, names. Uh, I have a really good name, I can't. Ah, here it is. Finally. Okay, are you ready? Oh. Three. Get you. So this is a different kind of Ape Escape game. You have the main series, and then one of the other games is canon, and that's this game. This is, uh, yeah, Ape Escape Saru Saru Big Mission. And instead of catching monkeys, you're, well, you're still catching monkeys, but for some reason you're... Um, your whole lab laboratory got shrunken down. So instead of like get, uh, chasing monkeys with, their, with your nets and teleporting to Monkey Mark, you actually take over monkeys. Just just like that. And as this is a speed run, I'm only catching the monkeys that are actually worth catching. Yes. And it's also very different, where normally you had like a minimum amount of monkeys you needed to catch. I'm totally really bad at like evading all of the tutorial things. Yeah, now it's just, you need to go to the end of the level and that's this one already. Yeah, this is the introduction le intro introductionary level. Right there, there were some monkeys that you could basically use to get out of there. However, with some peak point precision, uh, platforming, you could actually just skip that monkey. And we're going straight to the next level. And there's a really hard trick in the beginning, or a really hard catch, rather. Because when you start at a level, you're not a monkey. You're the helmet. Uh, okay, he saw me. Well, I gotta time this, like, perfectly. That uh, was well, not perfectly. I'm gonna try it again. 
I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, okay, that's good. So this is the blue monkeys. Blue monkeys are really, really fast at running. You probably knew that already from the original Ape Escape games. Monkeys, however, they cannot swim. But that's unfortunate because this is a water level. Well, a little bit. So what I'm going to do right now is hide. That's like not a common monkey in the Ape Escape series. I now need to wait for that monkey over there. The draw distance was really, really not good. Because this mer monkey can actually swim. And it can even swim underwater because I think that's faster. Not 100% sure. Yeah, again, different monkey. This is a SP game. And it only came out in Japan. It's really unfortunate, but it's definitely a good Ape Escape game. Or a good game in general. Can't really say that too much about some other uh, Ape Escape uh, spin off games. Like, the speedrun for the racer isn't too good. Uh, Academy. Ape Quest is, is pretty good, though. And I really want this in Indiana Jones monkey without triggering the tutorial. Never lucky. And instead of like platforming, we're just skipping all of that. We can just skip all the way to the last one. Okay, the next monkey, we don't need him per se. However, I prefer catching him because that makes the next. Okay, that makes the next. Okay, the next boss battle like really, really easy. How easy? You'll see. So, uh, some more technical information. This game was built on the Ape Escape 3 engine. And you'll definitely see a lot of characters as well as enemies, like the Tamuki bots, who are the core enemies for this game. They make a reappearance, which probably is better than the Ape Escape 2 monkey uh, enemies. They were all like piggies with uh, interesting shaped cones on their heads. And fortunately, this is easier. While you are the lab laboratory alone, by the way, uh, like you have a little bit of health, but like not at all. Like any attack will give you 80% damage, about 80% at least. So if you wait too long, like even waiting outside is just it drains your health. That's really important because every monkey has its own life bar. It's pretty interesting. But yeah, if you get knocked out, you won't die, per se, or the monkey won't die. That would be really, really cruel. But instead, uh, you get knocked off the monkey, and you can re-equip the monkey afterwards, but it only will have half of a damage, meaning one final hit and rinse and repeat. So if you're fast, you're basically invincible. But there are a lot of like puzzle platformer. So this is not a hard puzzle. This I don't think it is. I don't hope it is. Otherwise, we have some uh, some things to discuss. And this is another. I don't want to call it a new monkey, but definitely something not happening in Ape Escape Three. This, yeah, a wind monkey. Not too much to say here. Almost fall to your death. Cool. So that's threat with uh, the gun monkey that you'll see right after this level when the first boss battle is. Also, like one of the things that I did, I found for the game, that I'm super proud on, as well as this. Uh, I don't want to call it a trick, but a uh, strategy. If you stand here and diagonal, like all of the en enemies that just spawn here, they will not, or they will try to attack you, but it will just like fall away and nothing happens. So far, we haven't seen any enemies yet, which is good. Oh, there's the first enemy, maybe. Okay, that was uh, that was even better. No enemies. Yatta brings us back to Digimon Avengers.
I'm so sad Indy is uh, not here right now. He would definitely like the Ape Escape games. Okay, time for a first uh, boss battle. The leader of the Freaky Monkey 5. Bad monkey, and he is in a giant elephant statue. Robot. So I'm trying to get him to attack. Oh, this is good RNG. This is really good RNG. Right now, I can shoot the weak point on the back. And that's it. And that's exactly why you want the gun monkey. So, w while saying that, I do want to mention that there are some other runners for this game. Not a lot. There's Bucciism and B-Man Rules You 21. They both picked up the game when I did. And I just want to say it's a pretty okay run. And they have both bested me and I still need to make my return. But hey, that's, uh, that's something for later. So, this monkey's trying to get to work. Gets frustrated and kicks everything with windmill punches. Yeah, the monkey switching is important because, as you might have seen already, trying to catch this monkey. Fine. Doesn't want to get caught. One more. Don't have to push it all the way too. Yeah, every monkey has its own special attacks and they can. Maybe this monkey. There we go. Can he do a spin? He can do the spin. That will hit these blocks twice in one attack. Oh well. Yeah, every monkey has his own specialty and you definitely need those. And that's one of the harder monkeys to catch. And you definitely need him. At least to go fast, but fortunately it's not too difficult because on this slope the developers were really, really nice for you. I hope... Oh, what? Oh, whoa, what's this? <laughs> I'm, I'm see, getting some really bad uh, faces from the production team. Okay. <laughs> okay, I've never had that. The monkey just stood there, didn't even run away. It definitely beats him running around the whole stage, so I'm happy. So there's another monkey up here, and I only catch him for swag. Or at least try to catch him for swag. Swag got him! This is Biker Monkey! He's basically a uh, blue monkey, except he has an actual uh, hitbox on the front. Oh, there's a uh, Bazooka Monkey that just tried to uh, murder us, and we don't have anything. Like that. You can just attack the other biker monkey. Oh, I say swag, but it definitely gives you some time. I'm not wasting anyone's time, okay? Oh, for real. Oh no. Have a, have a good meal, man. All I said. <laughs> okay, the start of this. Yeah, okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I was, I, was, I was having dinner. My dinner came in after my shift had started, which uh, you know how it goes, right? You you order a pizza, then you end up waiting much longer than expected. Don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I guess while I'm talking anyway, I quickly want to thank ESA for uh, supporting the event and uh, allowing us to stream on their channel right here. I mean, we wouldn't be here right now without their support, so that's been uh, that's been very cool. And, you know, if you want to help us out and also help ESA out, uh, you know, if you have Twitch Prime, you could, for example, use your free monthly Twitch Prime sub right here on the channel. You get access to both the ESA and DSG emotes, as well as supporting both the events. And that goes for any sub, not just the Prime sub. But, hey, you need more time or? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, cool. So a few things happened. At first, our Robin Hood monkey. Heard that? Oh, whoopsie. I'll blame you for that. <laughs> okay, so the first uh, Robin Hood monkey is really, is maybe one of the harder first monkeys to catch in terms of uh, casual difficulty. I'm just really casually going on this wall as well. 
And what I don't think anyone does, getting hit by that monkey as well as getting the night monkey that I did. Saves a little bit of time. Not if you actually miss catching the chameleon monkey over there. Speaking about that chameleon monkey. That chameleon monkey is actually made for this game where a lot of monkeys are like borrowed from Ave Escape 3. Or from Ave Escape 3. I mean, that's uh, ha this hammer monk. I don't remember this hammer monkey either. Okay, a lot of monkeys are made for this game. Never mind. Uh, especially this chameleon monkey. Look at that peak point platformer. That's what its eco helmet does. In addition to the laboratory on top of their heads. It's still weird, okay? Oh. <laughs> what a guy. Oh, like I said, puzzle platformer. And the puzzles are getting like way harder. Ew. I really hope this is the last puzzle. Oh no. Uh, like the hardest thing is not getting hit by those uh, Tomuki bots. Like there is something specific to the AI when you speedrun it. You definitely can understand it a little bit. Like the moment they spawn, they see you and then they walk away and then Basically, they're like your friends until like 10 seconds later after they do an attack. I mean, it's not like I kill any enemies here. And dunk, Kobe. So recently I actually found a translated list of all the level names and I forgot to actually look them up. For the run, but yeah, they are there are some really weird names. I'm sorry, double. Okay, there's like a dumb. Oh. Okay, these, these Indiana Jones monkeys definitely the bane of my existence right now. Fortunately, they do not attack. Monkeys later, they do attack. Couldn't have done that. Oh no, okay. Oh well. Oh, there's a safe way to get over this uh, Clint Beast food monkey. I'm going to try a pretty cool jump, a pretty hard jump as well. I only saw Bucci do it like once. Such a like tight jump. I give it one more one more chance. First time's a charm, oh yeah. Always, every time. There's a mummy monkey over there. He's like almost in invincible. He's like really, really slow and you don't need him. You don't ever need him. Hey you please. But that's what happened when you get knocked out. That's actually not a problem. Because that's actually the easier way to catching monkeys. Okay, puzzles are like way harder right now. Now you actually have a picture of the things you need to hit. I really hope I'm hitting the correct ones, like these, pu these puzzles, man. Yeah, I, should, I should probably stop doing a let's play. Pretty sick level transition. Cutscene. Oh, I want to do a double jump to get some more distance. Hello. And there's a fire breathing monkey with uh, hopefully it's gasoline. Get a monkey. That's the incorrect monkey. Uh, incorrect attack. Oops. For some reason, there's like a celestial monkey back there. Oh, harder puzzles even. Oh, I forgot what game this is trying to reference, but it's basically monkey see, monkey do. You 
Three the buttons on the back. And now circle. And you have to basically yeah, play monkey see monkey do. And that's Actually this is the only monkey that does not have regular attacks. It's all it can do is dance. And this monkey is actually times in Avescape 3. I don't think any of them is in the world. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, also boss fight versus monkey blue or blue monkey. Oh, the wrong monkey. So as you can see, we only have three monkeys right now. There are like four monkey slots right here. The other monkey is a bazooka monkey. Who is stronger than uh, Clint Beastwood over there. I like calling him uh, Clint Beastwood, by the way. Whatever. He's stronger, like you only need to hit him twice with it. But it's a little bit slower to catch. I actually don't know if it's slower or not. Oh, I wanted to speed run. There we go. Dynamite. However, you do need all three of those monkeys to actually defeat him. And all these three monkeys you do need like 100% uh, to actually cro cross the levels. But that's actually pretty interesting. You can only use the monkeys to catch in the game. With some optional monkeys here and there. So you're probably not, not seeing the cutscenes, but Blue Monkey over there, he actually had a date with the professor that you may see right now? Uh, see here somewhere. Oh, here. He was actually having a date with that uh, professor, but we interrupted the date. Oh, well. Yeah, all other... Uh, yeah, a lot of other people. Oh, actually, this is going to be like way worse later on. Uh, let's keep the suspense there. Thank you for the tutorial. But this is maybe one of the uh, more not fun levels. Oh, that was so close. Ice Gun Monkey and Bike Gun Monkey. Get across. Thank you. And instead of walking over with Blue Monkey, because there's nothing for us to do there, catching another Mer Monkey over here, because of course, let's freeze her to death. Actually, it's just should spawn here. Yeah, there we go. I'm mashing the button. Go a little bit faster, which is pretty cool. In mill punches. Oh, there goes the stream. Okay. That happened three times today. Oh, something happened. There we go. I was about to... Probably fix this again, but okay. In any case, we're now getting this super monkey in his mech suit. You know, Japan, everything Gundam. Unfortunately, this suit is pretty, uh, pretty weak or pretty slow. There are two more suits right here, but we don't need any of them. Or I like to give shout outs to the developers. You can just stand on one of these poles. Well, some people can just jump over. Level, se yeah, level seven. The next level is called the Conveyor Factory, or something along those lines. I hope some people no actually know why. Okay, I see. The 
blue monkey up there, but I don't think we... Oh yeah, because right here, we actually need to like swap him out with this crank monkey. Or monkey with a crank, I'm sorry. And a forced uh, tutorial level, really good. And it's not like we can actually go back to quickly equip the other monkey, because we need him again. And going back right now is pretty slow. For one really good reason. For some reason there's a chef monkey right there. Oh, this is the monkey that I wanted. And a tutorial. No tutorial. There's another biker monkey up here. I really hope I can actually catch. Oh yeah, that actually makes the next area a lot easier. Well, so this is just like double swag points. Oh, he even has a hoop around him. Make sure it stays in place. Amazing. I just hit some of these. Uh, Totally innocent. Oh, definitely hit Arnold Schwarzenegger monkey. If you don't know Ape Escape yet, there are a lot of uh, pop culture references. Even the first Ape Escape game had Kyle, Stan, Kenny, and Kratman in them. Not sure why Kratman was spelled incorrectly, but oh well. Oh, this is the m one of the more interesting first catches. So there's a pretty viable monkey here in the beginning. Uh, this is a speed run. And there's a speedy monkey that hopefully did not see us. That's some... Okay, wish me luck. How am I not... How am I surviving? Okay. Okay, that was pretty good. So, best case scenario, you catch him on the stairs, because he has some difficulty, just around, he has some difficulty going down the stairs, and worst case scenario, he kills you and you have to do it all over again. Spinner Monkey is pretty annoying, he would be your backup. Okay, I forgot who found it, I think it's Bucci, but... For some reason, if you stand here a little bit and then fall down, there's a platform right up there. Hopefully I don't die right now. And you can skip using the wind monkey to get to the other side. Normally, you can make it. And jump, thank you. You get this bunny monkey. Bunny right now. Jump high. For those who ever played Ape Escape 3, I believe, yeah, 3, probably know how annoying flying monkeys are. Especially in that one level they're in. Um, Mount Amazing. I mean, they're pretty cool here, don't get me wrong. Another Fire Spirit Monkey. And all, I'm, and all I can say is, happy birthday to Santa. Zooming. Oh. And we're almost at the end of the level with an interesting boss fight right after that. Getting filmed on as well and while I actually have to wait here for a little bit let's give bananas to all the bad kids out there and to the good kids bananas I mean banana peels because they were actually all bad kids Gata, here we go okay the next 
uh, boss fight is Yellow Monkey. And something really weird about Yellow Monkey is that in the cutscene here, he's actually marrying the boy character from Ape Escape 3. And we're, we're making sure that doesn't happen. So I'm hoping... This that was good, that was good. So I tried to manipulate him to stay on the platform with a giant knife just coming down. Turn around again. Trying to make sure he actually gets placed in the middle. There we go. And why not do it again? You'll feel that in the morning. And we'll probably have to do this one more time and then it will be KO for Yellow Monkey. So I know that there's a, a certain someone watching here. That's actually already a pun giving it away. And he was afraid back when I did the Ape Escape 2 run last PSG. Well, he really is. Well, really, really scary. Yellow Monkey out of the way. Let's not press start or quit out the game. Thank you very much. With the level 10. I forgot what it's called. A pretty aerial level. There are two monkeys here in the beginning that I'm not going to catch. And a lot of Tamuki bots that could kill me. However, I'm going to try and sneak around this Arnold Schwarzenegger monkey, the Terminator monkey. And 360 no scope. For some reason, if you stand on that trait, and um, us the monkey boss actually cannot shoot you. We're already in level 10 out of the 15. Oh, we're, go we're going pretty fast. Hey, look, another puzzle. Oh, that's not yet the end of the level. While I'm waiting up there, there's another gold monkey. And we have to do the same mini game, but three times in a row. Don't fail or we'll have to do all of it over again. And if you want a tip on that, there like there can never be three of the same uh, button like right after each other. But with that, I could probably give it over to the host if he probably yeah. has something to say. Yeah, I, I have plenty of stuff to say. So uh, first of all, you guys are currently watching the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering. We organize bi-monthly gatherings in the Benelux for speedrunners, as if the name would imply any different. Uh, in any case, we're streaming live from Alphen aan de Rijn in the Netherlands right now. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a pretty big event coming up soon. In about uh, two or so months, we'll be having our BSG annual that will also be right here on the ESA channel. Uh, which will be done from Venra. It'll be a full week of speedruns with, uh, you know, just about everything you can imagine. The schedule is currently live and can be found through the BSG website, I believe, uh, as well as on speedrun.com, if I'm not mistaken, at least. I, I do hope I'm saying this correctly. Correct. Um, and uh, both during that event, as well as this one, we'll be raising money for the Dutch Cancer Society, which is a nationwide organization committed to fight cancer while aiming for more cure and a higher quality of life for those already battling the disease. All of your donations will go to the Dutch Cancer Society, so be sure to get your donations in. Need me to say more? Uh, I'm good. Okay, Take cool. Care, thank you. So, I actually made some jumps that I always fail for some reason. But hey, first try every time. And there's this monkey over here, and there's a UFO over there. A UFO that you can actually control. However, in true speedrun fashion, we're not going to do the cool stuff. And we're just going to, like, try not get hit by these uh, missile launchers. Or these mines. Just crash on through. 
There's another wall over here. However, instead of jumping over, one monkey can just windmill punch one and hopefully get up on the little platform. And finish the level right here. Okay, in terms of speedrunning, the next uh, level has a pretty interesting skip. I, again, forgot who found it. Either B-Man or Bucci. But it skips a huge part of the end part of the level. And I believe 40 seconds of RT RTA if you get it first or second try. Also, I'm going to do some cross-promotion. Was it? Yeah. So there's um, a marathon. Gas fired marathon. And it's all about shooters. And because of this monkey right over there, I actually got accepted with this game. I mean, it's a shooter in the slightest of sense. Oh, that, was, that was actually a pretty fun meme that I had. Okay, so. Crawling up this uh, giant wall. And there's a pretty cool trick that I believe. I forgot who found it. I wanted to try it a few times. Got it. Don't go too far. That actually skips getting the Indiana Jones monkey. Not sure how much that's, that's safe, so that's important. I'm not following the coins. Yeah, this, this monkey over here, he's actually the person that we need. Right after this transition is another Indiana Jones monkey. However, we're skipping him as well. I'm really wondering if the speedrunners hate Indiana Jones or something. Okay, so I need to like time this perf yeah, perfectly because I'm trying to go and stand on one of these poles. Okay, so I fat fingered the button. I got it first try. Second try every time, okay. Uh, we don't have to get that crank monkey that's all the way over there that we actually have the time. Go to this platform, crank all the way up here. And there's this wolf monkey over here that can actually uh, hit all these boxes. So even if you don't get the trick, you only need to hit two of those boxes. Because you can just barely make the jump. But this is like way faster. I'm still faster than actually even when failing it first try. Saves so much time. That's maybe the biggest clip of the, uh, yeah trick of the game. <laughs> level 12, the horror level. The idea of the horror level is amazing. Execution, eh, I don't know. There's this mummy or zombie monkey here in the beginning. But he's not interesting. There's this Minotaur monkey. He's like way more interesting. And a mermaid monster. Mer monster. But we just need for this little bit of water. And cannot double jump apparently. Yeah, and these zombie monkeys, they're invincible, but they're useless. No, it's the man with the hammer. Oh, imagine getting hit by the shockwave. Oh well. And do you remember the puzzle games in this game? Or the puzzles in this game? That's right, there's one more. There's someone showering. Uh, don't look at it. 
Even though it's cartoon phylums. Uh, rate it. Oh no! No! Everyone, in, everyone knows Freddy. That's not Freddy, probably. Jason! That's it. Oh no. Oh! Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I think I'll just wait. It's probably. There's another hammer monkey walking around there. Now, hitting those switches before they come up is actually uh, pretty, a pretty good I idea. As I just come up later and nothing can kill you. Oh, that. I actually want to take over this monkey because he has just a little bit more health. Not sure if that was a good idea or not. Oh, we're here. Okay. Oh, there's a monkey coming here. It's Dracula. Trying to jump a little bit here. Because this night monkey always, like the moment he lands, the night monkey is just here to ruin your day. It happens a lot. Even there on the platform. Okay, so there's another flying monkey over there. However, he only spawned nice mid-air, uh, what are they called? Mid-air shadows. Good game, good game. Yeah, like right after the any percent criteria of this game. You, uh, like every level gets a few more monkeys. And one of the extra monkeys of this level is Superman. You can also fly. You could choose between the evil Dracula or the good super, um, good Superman. Oh, that was a long cutscene for a monkey. We're just ignoring Cinderella. Cinderella is one of the stronger, or Belle actually. Belle is one of the stronger monkeys of the game. Oh, we're not getting her because it doesn't actually help. We can use her in the next boss fight, but it won't be tough to team up. Uh, I want Hammer Monkey, if we're fighting, Big Monkey! But first of all, this stage has a thing going for it. That Tamuki bot real quick. Trying to get her in the middle of the stage again. Just like that, assuming she attacks. And the stage light falls on her. That's the stage. We can do it again. I believe it actually does a lot of damage. Well, she's attacking. Don't. Don't. Oh no. Oh well. Well, that was a waste. Attacks here, I can use a stronger attack on her. There's a flying specter doll that has like more influence in the in the actual. Oh, she does another attack. Once you get a pommel in, yeah, she can actually use it for attacks. And the stage hasn't reset yet, so I'm gonna attack her casually. If you remember, oh, there's a stage reset. Should I do another one? Yeah, I, I think that might be wise. That might actually be it for her. Oh, not yet. One more hit? Okay. Hey, I'm not complaining, okay? He is one of the more annoying boss fights to do. Casually, that is. Okay, we now got more uh, more people from the ape, ape community. Monkey capture. 
Now we're going into level 13, and the next three levels, they actually take a long time. They're pretty long, pretty complex, but they're also good news. Okay, so we need to watch out. But not only are we near a cliff, there are two Tamuki buffs, and this Indiana Jones monkey will also attack us if we don't watch out. Skipping the first one. No, no love for the first man. And Mer Monkey. Somehow. I'm not sure if we actually have one of those fishes in Ape Escape free. I also never got hit by her. That's never happened before. Every marathon run needs one of those. Uh, this monkey. Yeah, there are like 17 monkeys in the whole stage that you can catch. If you really wanted to do that. Probably something else I could talk about since the level is not really going too much on for it. There is a mini game in this game, which is card flipping. It's really weird, and the last two uh, fights for that are really, really weird as well. I know that B Man, he actually tried to 100% complete this game, and let me tell you, he was not happy about it. I believe that specific bazooka monkey was also part of the next boss fight. Yeah, something interesting is this room right here, or a little bit back, that's like the best place to actually uh, grind a lot of money for it. Buy the best gear for the card flipping mini game. Actually, is there gear? I haven't really played it myself, because getting all monkeys, that probably would have been like, yeah. Okay. Other interesting stuff. So, everyone that has probably seen an Ape Escape uh, speedrun that is not any percent knows that the slingshot is beyond broken with infinite jumping, air crawling, net floating. Well, this game also has something like it. If you mash X like fast there, it will reset your thing and you can get a lot of heights. I don't know if I did it wrong there, if there's like a maximum to it. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. That set me back like way too much. Yeah, to be fair, like there's no actual use for that thing yet. Because the walls here are actually pretty good. Let's not have that happen before. And I I don't know if walking is faster than flying, so I really don't know if there's like any use for it. I just want you to know that there is infinite flights. Assuming you can pull it off. Or while well, infinite flights, it's like an infinite flight start. I don't know. That was the end of level 13. And I didn't even talk about the electricity monkey. He's going to be like a vital part of the uh, next few levels as well. A lot of puzzles you can do with it, and a lot of... I don't want to say skips. It definitely shows how stupid the monkey AI is. Or monkey AI, enemy AI. First of all, there's this monkey. Also, do not need that bazooka monkey. He actually might be in the next boss fight, I don't know. Monkey with shoes over here. That I like to call Spider Man. Oh, saved, okay. And walk really fast for a little bit. Definitely worth it. There's a monkey with a love gun. Somehow. Um, 
even walking f uh, forwards is an attack. Oh, I always do that. I just fall down there. Get bodied. I got bodied back into the previous area. Oh no. That's a new definition of bodying. Okay, so. Skip that one as well. Again. That worked. And there's a pretty cool cutscene about this uh, firefighter. But he's not too interesting. This guy's actually interesting. Fire starter. And I somehow got through that without damage. Not that monkey. It's like a battle arena for that uh, mech monkey over there. I have to be first. Though. Obviously, you can just jump through. Something I haven't actually said yet. Oh, uh, Simon says all you need to know. Oh yeah, for some reason, the moment I'm here, like all those enemies, they actually will not attack you. Oh, green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, red. This can't actually go wrong. You probably see me jumping like all over the place. So, okay, never mind. Going, okay, never. Point taken. So jumping around is not actually faster in and upon itself. However, I do feel that it's way faster than walking if you have an obstacle in your path. Yeah, I actually timed it. So. There are these two things over here. You can just stand on there and then jump onto the hut. And then those enemies cannot cannot reach you anymore. As well as get up here a little bit faster. Uh, monkey with a gun. Oh, I need this monkey with a gun. I no, I only know that I need a monkey with a gun. I think it's this monkey. Okay, I'm actually not sure if this is the monkey that I needed, but I better have it, not need it. Um, I just shot this monkey point blank, or in the back, that kid, just to be sure that I will not see him. That I will not have to fight him. Okay, level 14 done. One more level, it's the final trial before the final boss. I'm not gonna look at my face right now. I know that my estimate is a weird number. Somehow I actually input it wrong in the system, so it was one second. I mean, I'm not too bad of a speedrunner, but I'm not that good. So, yeah, just before the run, we just started joking. You probably only need 59 minutes or 59 seconds for it. Uh, this might actually be the monkey that I was thinking of. Yeah, because there's no way you can get another monkey with a helmet alone. Okay. Good to know. Uh, mirror monkey. For some reason, by having a mirror in front of your face makes you invisible. And then this is the worst monkey ever. You can fly with him. Aiming gun is... So bad. I uh, there's a wall over here. Yeah. There are a few things that I can do. There is those uh, spider monkeys. 
helps also. Sure. Okay, that worked. It's also dead that I can do. Got the monkey in the back as well. Somehow still is full health. There are a lot of other trials as well. The heights. And for some reason, they will not see you anymore. Maybe because I'm too far away. I don't know. And I need to charge these batteries. All the way. Oh, whoops. Fortunately, if you're fast enough, you're actually invincible. I hope I can catch the other old monkey without too much problems. Well, no problems, but not flawless either. Oh no, I'm getting barriers by all sides. And fortunately, you can just stand on the. Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. What? Okay, that's the first death of the run. I actually just want Spider Monkey. What? Spider Monkey. Whatever. That was really unfortunate. Hey, okay, where's Spider Monkey? This game is really unforgiving. Okay. So why did I actually take the other monkey? The spider monkey is way faster. Assuming you're not, you know. Oh, I probably should have kept the other monkey. Bye. Okay, so what I actually wanted to say. It's the moment you're standing on top of these batteries, nothing can hurt you. That proved me wrong. Hammer man. So close. Could have died there. And then... Hard jump? That worked. And these ones are like way too big to jump around. And the next room right after here is the hardest room in the game. Because there's just so much happening. And I was trying like all the weird stuff before on optimizing that room. And I found out that these uh, like giant things, they're not per se hit based or hit points based, but they're hit based. Meaning that instead of like five bazookas or five rockets that I try to do, one, two, five, that's it. I mean, I said this was the hardest room and this was like totally free. And then there's this room and I will probably die here as well. Either way, so let's see what happens. But yo, there's a number two. Of those little, yeah, these uh, Samus Towers, they can actually shoot fire lasers as well. Five bananas in there. Like a million robots, and it's pretty taxing for a PSP, so it's like lag city over here. Not playing on a PSP though, this is uh, a PlayStation TV. Or I actually bought it from the Japanese eShop. Which was not an easy feat, but I got it. Okay, those were the levels. Let's go for the boss fights. Okay, uh... Actually, no, let's... Piper. But there's this button over here. 
the button somehow grabs the white monkey and puts him down so I can actually hit him. Now it's time to get back into yellow shooting monkey. He can just shoot at, at the robot the white monkey. So he can do three attacks. A gun. The gun is pretty safe. That's one attack that I need to uh, watch out for. I don't know that. This is a pretty easy fight. I'll probably have to hammer him one more time. Not a gun. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah, the backside with uh, the toy thing. The toy wind up key. It's the weak point. Okay, final boss time. And this boss is incredibly fast, so time is coming up. If you have um, epilepsy or you just can't handle moving images, also watch away for a little bit. So this is shout out to, I, I think, Bucci as well. So this boss fight was like four minutes before. And now it's like one and a half minutes. Somehow you can multi-hit this enemy right here. This just does a ton of damage every time the attack uh, connects. Taking uh, damage here on purpose. But the attack is faster. It's like ye uh, big yellow. Also, music is good. Okay, time is coming up. And there we go, time. And that was Saru Getsu, Saru Saru. Daisaku Sen or Ape Escape Saru Saru Big Mission, however you want to call it. Well, that was give or take an hour. Oh, okay. So that, that works out nicely. Give or take an hour. Oh, Captain. <laughs> yeah, Captain was <laughs> at it again. Yeah, okay, so that was it. And now they're happy and now they can actually unstring themselves. And I have to show it is. Yeah, okay, that's it. So uh, that's Ape yeah, that's Apescape. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely check if you're interested in the run. Definitely check out the Apescape Discord. I'll be there. And in the meantime, Saru on. Oh, thank you, Rico, for your run of uh, Apescape Saru Saru Big Mission. Um, we'll be moving on to Digimon Battle Spirit by Mystics Wizard in just a moment. Uh, but we're going to be running a quick ad break while we get that set up. Uh, once that's done, uh, KTL will be taking over for me. So, yeah, thank you guys for uh, for sticking around and uh, enjoy the last couple of runs of the day.